that's really interesting. All right, so tell me something about the difference between open and closed groups. I am actually a member. I found Facebook to be phenomenally useful with groups, particularly on the tech side. Yes. So if, I'm, if I'm using a particular platform, it's an amazing place to go and get questions answered uh -huh. uh, very, very quickly. And actually to find good subcontractors, actually to help do some of the work. Uh, yeah. But what is the difference between uh, open and closed and what are the dynamics between those? So recently, um, recently Facebook did just change their, you know, it used to be they had the secret and the different, different, three different layers essentially. And now they just have the open and closed essentially groups. Open is just that it's public. It's anybody can add, add anybody at any given time. Uh, you know, there's uh, not a lot of uh, uh, control, if you will. Um, plus, outsiders can see who's in the group. They can see, uh, harvest your group members if they want to. Uh, you know, that's always been a concern for people who are building community. If they have an open uh, group is that, you know, competitors will come and, you know, harvest their group members, meaning add those group, add those people to their groups, et cetera. So, um, the pros of it though, is that it's just that it's public. It can be, you know, can be found very easily in search. Um, it's, it's a, a very easy for people to add, um, to other, you know, to add to the group. So your group members uh, can add and, you know, there's not a, an admin that has to approve or any of those types of things. It's just wide open in other words. Um, and you'll find a lot of like, um, like a lot larger uh, entities, like a larger, like um, maybe uh, cancer groups, for example, or, you know, anything that's like big like that, where they're just, they don't, you hate to say they don't care. I don't mean it like they don't care who's in their group. I don't mean it like that, but it's, it's open. It's, it's come on in. It doesn't matter. You know, you, anybody, everybody's welcome kind of thing versus a closed group and a closed group has two options now even though it's all this it's, it's still going to be a closed group but there there's two um, check marks so one is that you can te technically make your content um, hidden meaning the group itself can't be searched for um, and nobody can see the members and this kind of thing um, with if you don't choose that option it's just a closed group. Uh, people can still see the group, find the group, in other words, in the search feature, and that's important. So my, my recommendation for the most part, if you're trying to build community, is to go with that secret, I'm, I'm sorry, that closed group without the secret functionality. Um, because you want to be found, you know, you want to be, you know, searched for and found and, um, but uh, people can find it, but they, and they can see the admins, but they can't see, you know, everything like they can't see the content in the group or anything of that nature. Um, so it protects the conversations that are happening inside of the group. And that I think is important. Um, especially if, if you w are creating an environment where people feel like they can have those safe conversations, like their content's not out there in the public space. So going back to the public group, anything that's posted in that group is public for anyone to see. Um, in the closed group, um, the content is, can only be seen if you are a member of that group. 